Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Opti TV. As you know, we're all about Opti sailing and the Opti class. This time we're going to be taking a look at tow lines and how to properly tow Optis. First, I'd like to thank everyone who's been reaching out on social media and in real time. We've been on a longer than anticipated hiatus, but sometimes, you know, life gets and in the way of projects. But we're back and ready to bring you quality content once again. Now on to today's topic, tow lines. It's time to ask a coach. So, towing Optis. As with much of anything related to the Optimus class, it seems pretty simple, but once you attach some Optis to your coach boat and pull, it gets a lot more complicated than that. A few considerations to take as a sailor and as a coach that are useful to remember when you're setting a tow line and moving around. First, let's consider what a tow line is and what it's for. We coaches tow to get sailors quickly in and out of racing areas in case of bad weather, or even sometimes when there's not enough wind. Here's how to properly set a tow line. Step one, if you're a coach, if possible, set your anchor. This will help keep your boat from drifting and make it easier to collect bow lines as the kids approach you. Step two, have your sailors approach your leeward side and hand you their bow line. Remember bow lines are, should be clear of knots and have a bow line knot already set on the end of the line. Step three, slip the boat that will go aft through the loop of the boat that will go in front. This is what is called a setting a daisy chain tow. Step four, if you have a tow post, set your line on the tow post and secure it so that once tension, it'll be easy to undo when it's time to get off of the bow. If you do not have a tow post, we recommend creating a splice loop with a clip to make getting on and off the tow line easier. Step five, when under tow, consider the length of your tow line, because the longer your line, the harder it will be to maneuver. We definitely do not recommend more than 10 opties on a single line as it becomes super difficult to deal with your tow line especially if someone capsizes on your toe. Keep your speed up and remember that you will be creating a very large weight. So consider where you are operating to, minim to minimize environmental impact and speed regulation. Step six, when it's time to get off the tow line, make sure to throw the lead line far from your boat in order to avoid following your propeller. So now that we've covered the basics on how to tow a set of opties, let's take a look at some safety practices to make your toe out smooth. No spliced loops. In case of emergency, this will force your sailor to run the entire length of their bow line back to them instead of the sailor in front of them just untying their bow line knot. If you have a rather large group of sailors, consider a double line tow. This will shorten the length of the tow line, but requires a little bit more skill as the sailors have to steer apart from each other. We do not recommend double line tows in wavy conditions. Choosing a bow line, it needs to float, it needs to have minimal stretch and not absorb water. Remember, glass legal bow lines have a minimum of eight meters or 27 feet. Remember that when you're on a tow, your boat is taking on more weight through the water. Optis don't weigh all that much, but when you have 20 behind you and your engine is only running 40 horsepower, you will be straining it. Keep an eye on your fuel gauge and it never hurts to keep a few gallons or liters of fuel on board just in case. If you can afford it, the ideal rib for working with Optis has at least 40 horsepower and is 4.8 to six meters in size. If you enjoy what we're doing, Consider subscribing to the channel and give this video a like. It helps us know what you guys want to see more of and it really helps the channel out. Thanks again for watching. See you next time.